Hi, my name is Laura and this is Lisa. We are students at the UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine. With the help of Sadie and Little Tuck, we're going to show you the correct way to brush a dog's teeth. We know that this can be challenging, especially when you're dealing with a squirmy puppy or an older dog. The truth is, most dogs can learn to accept brushing. You just have to be gentle, have fun, and introduce the procedure gradually. There are many reasons to brush your dog's teeth on a daily basis. First of all, brushing can help control your dog's bad breath and save your dog from considerable discomfort. Also, brushing will help to decrease the number of required dental cleanings at your veterinarians. Finally, brushing can help to prevent gingivitis and periodontitis. Each normal dog tooth has a crown and one to three roots. It sits in the jawbone, is surrounded by gingiva or gum, and is held in place by the periodontal ligament. Gingivitis means inflammation of the gum. It occurs when plaque, made up of proteins, carbohydrates, and bacteria from saliva, builds up on the crown at and below the gum line. If the plaque is not removed, toxins produced by the bacteria will infiltrate the inner lining of the gum and cause inflammation. Periodontitis occurs when the inflammation due to the bacterial toxins destroys the ligament as well as the surrounding bone. Gingivitis and periodontitis together are referred to as periodontal disease. If left unchecked, periodontal disease may result in tooth loss and possibly bacterial or toxic damage to the heart, liver, and kidneys via the bloodstream. A healthy gum line is firm and lies flat against the teeth. An unhealthy gum line with gingivitis will have gums that are red, inflamed, and may bleed easily. Although it looks bad, this condition is still reversible. These teeth are affected by periodontitis. Notice the destruction of not only the gum, but also the surrounding bone. This video is intended to supplement first-hand guidance from your veterinarian. Every pet is different, so restraint and choice of toothbrush and toothpaste will vary. It is best to start brushing your pet's teeth at an early age. Daily brushing will decrease the occurrence of gingivitis and periodontitis. However, brushing does not replace dental exams or dental cleanings at your veterinarian's office. The first step in tooth brushing is choosing a toothbrush and a toothpaste for your dog. There are several toothbrushes to pick from. There is the finger brush, which fits over your index finger. Then there is the dog brush, which may be easier to manipulate because it is designed especially for a dog's mouth. It has a long handle, an angled head, and extra soft bristles. Finally, you can use a human toothbrush. Just make sure that it has soft bristles and buy the child size brush for a smaller dog. Be sure to use toothpaste made especially for pets. Pet toothpaste comes in flavors like chicken, seafood, and malt. Do not use human toothpaste because it contains foaming agents which can upset your pet's stomach and fluoride which is toxic when swallowed. It is actually the mechanics of brushing and not the pet toothpaste that reduces plaque buildup, but pets really seem to like the taste and it can make the brushing experience more enjoyable. Next, there are several ways to hold your dog for brushing. The following are a few suggestions. However, there is no right or wrong answer. The most important thing is for you and your dog to be comfortable throughout the procedure. If you are working with a small dog, you can sit your dog on a table and press your dog's backside up against you. Sometimes little restraint is necessary and you may be able to approach your dog head on. You can also sit a small dog on your lap with his or her backside up against you. If you have someone to assist you, have that person hold while you do the brushing. If you are working with a large dog, you can place your dog's backside up against you. This will prevent your dog from backing up and away from you. You can also try and brush your dog's teeth while he or she is on the ground. Sometimes little restraint is necessary and you may be able to approach your dog head on. Again, if you have someone to assist you, have that person hold while you do the procedure. Now we are ready to begin. Whether you are working with a large or a small dog, 
Start by getting your dog used to fingers in his or her mouth. Handle your dog's lips and slide your fingers along the teeth and gums. You can also coat your fingers with the pet toothpaste. This will help your dog associate the toothpaste flavor with fingers in your dog's mouth. Do this every day for about one week and praise your dog during and afterwards. Restraint can be difficult to maintain unless your dog is exhibiting signs of aggression like showing teeth growling or biting, continue to work with your dog even if he or she squirms or rolls. Just keep talking softly and praising your dog the entire time you're working together. The goal is to keep brushing, a positive and rewarding experience. After each session, we recommend rewarding your dog with a fun activity. The next step is to ease your dog into brushing by rubbing his or her teeth with gauze. Dogs have four kinds of teeth, from front to back, they are incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. Wrap a piece of gauze around your index finger. You can coat the gauze with toothpaste. Begin with the incisors, and when your dog is comfortable, work your way back. Continue to work with the gauze for several days or until your dog has adjusted to the procedure. Remember to praise your dog throughout the procedure. Again, if your dog is especially uncomfortable during a session, stop that session and try again the next day. After each session, remember to reward your dog with a fun activity. Finally, introduce the toothbrush. Press the pet toothpaste down into the bristles of the brush to prevent your dog from licking it off too quickly. Begin by brushing along the outside surface of your dog's incisors. Hold the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle so that the bristles go under the gum line and brush in a circular motion. Brush one tooth at a time, spending three to four seconds on each tooth before moving on to the next one. When your dog is comfortable having the incisors brushed, and this may take a couple of days, move to the canines. Again, spend three to four seconds on each tooth, hold the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle, and brush in a circular motion. Finally, work on the premolars and molars. Brush the inside surface of the teeth only if your dog is adjusting well to the brushing. Ultimately, it is most important that you cover the surfaces of the premolars and molars because this is where most plaque buildup occurs. The first day should last only a short while. Increase the time brushing each day until you are able to brush all of the teeth in one session. Again, if your dog is showing signs of aggression during a session, stop that session and try again the next day. After each session, remember to reward your dog with a fun activity. Once a month before brushing, perform a quick oral exam on your dog. Before you begin brushing, inspect your dog's mouth for odor and fractured teeth. Odor can be a sign of excessive bacteria and fractured teeth can be painful. Also, watch out for oral tumors. The sooner detected, the better. If you notice any one of these problems, please contact your veterinarian. In addition to daily brushing, chew toys can remove some of the plaque in your dog's mouth. Chew toys do not, however, replace brushing, because unlike brushing, chew toys do not clean plaque or tartar under the gum line where disease occurs. Some examples of toys that we recommend include rubber or gummy toys and rawhides. For added safety, check all of your dog's toys and bones for small pieces which can be a choking hazard. Avoid toys that are too hard or too soft. Toys that are too hard can fracture teeth. Toys that are too soft can break apart and cause both airway and intestinal obstructions. Heavy plastic bones and rocks easily fracture teeth. The surface of a tennis ball is extremely abrasive and inappropriately wears down with excessive chewing. In their enthusiasm, dogs love to swallow entire cow hooves and suffer from dangerous intestinal blockage. Cow hooves are also very hard and break teeth. 
Finally, there are dental hygiene diets and treats on the market that help to decrease the amount of plaque buildup in your dog's mouth. Look for the Veterinary Oral Health Council seal, which assures that a product helps maintain dental hygiene. However, these foods and snacks do not replace brushing because unlike brushing, they do not clean plaque or tartar under the gum line where disease occurs. Ask your veterinarian for details. Remember, routine and consistent brushing can decrease the occurrence of gingivitis and periodontitis. However, brushing does not replace regular dental exams and cleanings by your veterinarian. Each animal is different. Some pets take longer than others to adjust to brushing. Expect progress, not perfection. However long it takes, brushing is a great way to bond with your pet while improving his or her oral health. We hope that this video has been a useful tool and we thank you for taking good and loving care of your pets. Goodbye from all of us.